we're from Hawaii. And we're the Folded Sisters. Today we're going to be making an origami mask from the Paper Girl Show. I forgot you're not used to paper animals coming alive. Mice! Fun fact, did you know mice have supersonic hearing? I did a little research. Some animals can hear sounds that our ears can't. If I can set this in the really high frequency range, like 30 or 40 kilohertz, we can annoy the rodents enough to drive them away. Grab a piece of paper and fold it with us. So first, you're gonna do a diagonal fold. You're gonna have your paper right side up, and you're gonna fold this tip to this tip. So it's gonna make a line here. Just like this. And this is called a diagonal fold. So it looks like a triangle. Unfold it, rotate it 90 degrees, and do the same thing, fold tip to tip, but just the opposite. Then you're gonna do another diagonal fold. Just like that. So it looks like a triangle. Now you're gonna unfold that. Now you have a plus sign in the center of your paper. And you're gonna do a kite fold to the middle. Now I'm gonna show you what that is. So you're gonna fold this edge to this crease. Like this. And now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. This is called a kite base. Correct. And now it's a kite base, because it kind of looks like a kite. Floating around in the sky. And now you're gonna unfold it, rotate it, and do the same kite fold, this edge to this edge, do the same kite fold. And do another kite base, but just on the opposite side. Just like this. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Another kite base. And now, you're gonna unfold both of these kite folds. Like that. And then what you're gonna do is called a rabbit ear. You're gonna fold on both of the kite fold creases until you meet this intersection. And then there's a line that we wanna follow. It's going up to make a tip right there. And this line is gonna wanna crease and make it a point over here. Fold that tip down and then you're gonna do that same thing to the other side. And it's called a rabbit ear fold. Fold on this crease, on this kite fold crease, until you come to the intersection. And the other one, you're gonna do it until it comes to the intersection, and then you're gonna make a line that goes up to there. Fold it back. This is called a fish base, because it has the head, the tail, and the two fins. But instead, we're gonna make this the head, this the tail, and these are the two ears. Once it's like this, you're gonna flip it over on the flat side and fold this down like this. And now you got a crease over here. Now, you're gonna fold this tip to the crease. Just like that. And now you're gonna crease it. This is called a valley fold. And it looks like this when you're finished. I'm gonna crease it and shape. And now we're gonna do another kite fold. But this kite fold is gonna look totally different than the kite fold that we just did. So you're gonna fold this line to this line. Like that. 
This is going to be your mouse's head. And then you're going to do the same kite fold for the other side. This is not a kite base, but it is two kite folds. So then it looks like that. And now you're going to fold this tip right to this point over there. Like this. And now you're going to fold it back however far you want. I'm going to fold it back this far because I want my mouse's tail to be about that long. And now you're going to fold it in half. Now this is called a mountain fold because it looks like a mountain. It's the opposite of the valley fold that we just made. Not the kite fold, the valley fold. And now you're going to fold these two ears back and then you're going to kite fold them. This edge goes to this crease. Just like that. So these are your mouse's ears. Now you're going to flip it over and fold this edge to this crease. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to make my ears like this. And now we're going to open it up, fold this tip about that far, and then fold it back in half. Like that. Now the last step is to push the tail down. Don't rip your paper. And then wiggle the tail. And you, now you got your origami mask. Check out more episodes in origami from the Paper Girl Show on YouTube. Tune in to find out what we make next.